believe democracy works, shame on you! An explosive day oh, yeah. on the North Carolina House floor yesterday after Democrats accused Republican lawmakers of calling a surprise vote on the state budget. Now we've told you that both sides have been at an impasse on this for months now, and the vote came while many Democrats were at a September 11th remembrance ceremony in Raleigh. Now they say they were never told about any vote. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Costura is joining us live, and Anthony Tepper's have cooled a little bit this morning, but this battle is far from over. And this impacts a lot of people without a state budget right now. Teachers, troopers, and other state employees are working without raises that they were initially promised. Democrats say that they are fired up calling this vote really a political ambush. Democrats say Speaker Moore told them there would not be any votes in the morning session yesterday. He says that never happened. The House voted 55 to 9 for the override, with most Democratic representatives absent for that emergency session. Republicans wanted the override for months, but never had enough votes. Only nine Democrats were there yesterday to vote against it. Within hours, Governor Cooper unleashed a blistering attack on House Republican leadership, calling them liars who would stop at nothing to get their way. Democrats were told there would be no votes this morning. This was a bald face lie. I never said there weren't going to be votes. Uh, I never authorized anybody to say there weren't going to be votes. The sudden vote sparked outrage in Democratic Representative Deb Butler. She yelled her objections on the floor. Video shows a number of officers ready to intervene, but fellow Democrats surrounded her, and she said later that she was threatened with arrest as Speaker Moore tried to quiet her. The override now goes to the Senate, where Republicans just need one more Democrat to officially override that veto. But the Senate president says this is not the priority right now, citing that redrawing the state house and Senate districts is taking priority. In Charlotte, Anthony Castro, Channel 9 Eyewitness News this morning.